Okay, this is uh, Mr. McLeod, and we're doing part two of the ball demo. Uh, in part one, we got the ball up to the point where it would bounce off the bottom. Uh, but if we were to go back here and run it slowly, uh, you will see that it actually goes uh, partway into the edge, and it doesn't bounce until right here. Um, so if we were to zoom in here, basically right here this is get height uh, of the world and so right here the ball is basically halfway off screen because the position of the ball is actually the center of the ball uh, and that's it's not because it's a ball it's because in greenfoot uh, the position x and y of any actor is the center of the image um, so in order to make it bounce earlier, we actually want it to bounce right there. Uh, so, in fact, actually, wait, a little bit before even. Oops, sorry. Right there. Okay, here we are. So, uh, if we were to uh, make it bounce here, that would mean we're actually bouncing when the X position of the ball is this distance away from the bottom edge. Uh, and that is half the height of the ball. So in order to calculate that, uh, we need to learn how do we get the height and width of an actor. Uh, and you might think that that sounds pretty simple. We would just uh, go over here to actor and see if we can find get height and get width. Uh, and this is all in alphabetical order, so if it were going to be here, uh, it would have been in here. And clearly it is not. Um, however, I see this get image. That's because uh, in Greenfoot, uh, the height and width of the actor is actually not stored in the actor class. Uh, every actor has an image. And what we're looking for actually is the height and width of the image. So if you uh, click on this link, this will take you to the Greenfoot Image API. Um, or uh, just so you know, any way to uh, another way to get access to any of the APIs is you can go over here to Help and Greenfoot Class Documentation, uh, and that'll actually take you to. Uh, the documentation for the whole uh, Greenfoot package, which includes all the classes, actor, uh, color, font, Greenfoot, Greenfoot image, Greenfoot sound, and so forth. So let's go back to Greenfoot image. Um, so Greenfoot image uh, uh, has a whole bunch of uh, helper methods in here for doing lots of things to images. Uh, might be a little bit overwhelming, but um, the one that we're looking for is uh, right here, get width, and down a little bit further, oh, no, sorry, back a little bit further, get height. So since this is a, uh, these are methods of the Greenfoot image class, uh, and to get a Greenfoot image, remember uh, the actor had a get image uh, method. So in our ball, uh, we can say, uh, let's actually do this up here, do a little bit of uh, storing of some values. So uh, we can say uh, green foot image uh, img equals uh, get image, and that will return the image. Once we have the image, we can say uh, the ball width is going to be the image dot get width, and the ball height, I'm going to call it ball h, is the image dot img dot get height. Okay, so now I have my uh, ball width and ball height. Uh, now, in this particular case, it's it looks pretty square, so it's very possible that these are both the same. Uh, but 
it's always good to uh, write your code without assuming that. Uh, okay, so then uh, we could also, in fact, the thing that we did here where we said get world, get height, uh, we could have uh, also stored that up here if we wanted as well. Um, but let's go ahead and leave that alone for now. So uh, if the get y, the y value plus half the height, uh, so ball height, ball h, is greater than get world dot get height, uh, then we're going to bounce off. Uh, so if we compile that, oh yeah, that's right, we don't have to hit compile anymore. We could just go back here. Uh, if we run that, let's uh, watch it in kind of slow, actually, you can even just slow motion it like that. So you can see it will bounce right at the edge. Now, uh, it did appear like it bounced uh, just a little bit early. So let's run it again here. And... Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this. We said ball dot... We said ball h, but we want half the height because the ball height is the entire height of the ball. Uh, so if we were, so for example, if the ball was right here, uh, what we had before was this entire height. So that would have been bouncing the ball when it was still like half of a height away from the edge. Okay, so let's reset that. So if we run that, uh, watch it closely. In fact, when it gets close, let's do it act by act. Yes. Now, there was one little frame where it appeared to be just past the edge. So, we can even improve that a little bit more. Uh, if you consider, if you're just past the edge, uh, that means you're already out of bounds. So before, in addition to reversing the dy, we might also want to set ourselves to be exactly inbound. So uh, we could do that uh, using set location. So set location, uh, and we want to keep the same x, uh, but we want the uh, get y, uh, sorry, we want the uh, y value to be uh, exactly equal to uh, the world height. So that would put us halfway off. Uh, minus exactly this half of a ball height. So that will put us at exactly the edge. Uh, so if we do that, if you watch carefully, um, this will have just a little bit better behavior. You go there, boom, do you see how we never actually went off screen at all? This concludes the uh, first, the second part of the ball videos, and I will see you again in another video or in class.